I should have just gone straight down into the low ceiling cave. Uh huh, half crow. Reasonable spawn again. Copper? Copper? A. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased. First two lines to always one copper, one titanium, and with that you can make yourself a scanner. You got baited, cast. You got baited. However, if the first one is a copper, you can grab yourself a metal salvage and use that to make your scanner instead. You can leave when stuff is building, like so. And then I'm going to head over to Rek to grab myself some sea glide fragments. Someone told the water because it is slightly faster. I'm going to Rek because most likely places sea glide can spawn. It can spawn anywhere in the safe shallows. Just more likely that it spawns at a Rek. I need two boxes of star run. I got two. We've got like a bajillion. Incredible. One, two, this, up. Dog count. Non existent. What if no dog? Wait, this means there's a dog. This is floating. This means there's a dog. Yeah, there's two of them. Okay. That's pretty decent. The metal they've got is bad, though, which is unfortunate. I'm going to confiscate this. Wait, I did. Okay. <laughs> Is the why the I don't know what that means, clicker. I'm afraid. Gonna go through this coral tube and grab myself a lot of resources. You will notice I am breaking rocks a little bit faster than normal. That's because you find the scroll wheel to one of the action keys, and each scroll counts as multiple inputs of that action. Pretty fantastic from uh, running this game, because normally you have to click four times to break these rocks and grab the item inside, but I can just scroll once. You do it to running at at least 30 FPS, and you want to scroll slowly, not quickly, because scrolling quickly actually makes it worse. Also trying to do some sort of helix-like motion to grab these resources in a smooth fashion. Can be a little bit awkward though, depending on the resource distribution. I'm gonna do this. Maybe that's unwise. I don't know. I think I want. I think I want these more. Can you see the eye tracking thing on your screen? No, I can't. It's only on your screen. And back to base I go. Air revowed. Can I make myself a knife and a two tank and a sea glide? Holding down the sprint key to keep this menu open. I need five metal. I've got eight. Holding the sprint key is fantastic. It makes crafting sections. Thank you for luck, Phoenix. Makes crafting sections smoother. Makes them easier. Makes them faster. I recommend you do so even in your casual playthrough. Let's hold the sprint key to keep the menu open. Do, 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 do. Count is 2, 10 and 2 is 12. No, 14. I need 17 to 21 quartz, 2 silver to gold, 3 table coral, Oop. and as much limestone as I can carry. I'm assuming the sprint key feature doesn't work on console. Uh, if you can make your console have a sprint key, I imagine it does. If you plug in a keyboard, probably. Seventeen. Eighteen. Three. Have to go back up. Nineteen. And over. First eight cents to always three silver, three lead, and two gold. I want two silver to gold at the first six, which is reasonable, but not guaranteed. So sometimes I find a seventh, or even an eighth. Seventh. And back to this. 
four. Oh, I can't pick it up. I assumed I wouldn't have enough space. It doesn't work for Phoenix, but it does work for Cast. Well, there you go. We have a liar in chat, but who is the liar? Gonna make myself a base and a sandwich. Hey, man. I'm gonna film a base full of water because I'm a creature of the sea and I do want to swim all the time to do so. I'm gonna make two glass compartments, three metal compartments, and two windows. It counts three, right? Or is it four? It's four. Okay. Give me this and this. And I'm going to fill my base full of water because I am a creature of the sea and I do want to swim all the time to do so. I'm going to make two glass compartments, three metal compartments, and two windows. Wait, I've already made... Oh, no, I do need that one. Perfect, okay. I'm going to make two glass, two lockers, two windows, and that's going to flood the base. If I take the health strength down to less than zero, it starts flooding because that's just how the game be. Buttons is hard. Cool. Make me some metal. Jeopardy competition with you as the host. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four mushrooms. Ten table coral. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Grab the two sandstone that's always here. Grab this rock. And this rock. And this quartz. And back to base. I'll grab you. And five. Hey, Messi. I thought I heard you say there won't be any streams on Friday and Saturday whatsoever. Uh, I never said that, no. If you if you were watching yesterday, you will have heard me say that there will definitely be a stream tomorrow. <laughs> also, I lie all the time. This is my leg game locker, it's got lead in. This is my early game locker, it's got everything else. Get out of here. And I've just activated a glitch. If you're in a base, when it floods, the game thinks you're both swimming and walking at the same time. Puts those two speeds together. Pretty fantastic from this game because you're going to go very fast. It's called Super Seagull and now I need some teeth. Every time a dog picks up a piece of metal, there's a chance it drops a tooth. Chance count starts at 1. And that chance is 25% and I need 4 by 8, 10. I'm going to move these to the dog one that picks them up. Where's that rock? There it is. Life on this planet There's a tooth. And I actually need them by 8.40, not 8.10. I'm giving them a bit more time than we normally would. There's a third. And there's a fourth and a fifth, because of course. Thanks, dogs. Count starts as one. I've got eight. Okay. Hey, George. Yeah, we don't normally stream on, on these days. Every time you go through a power door, you're going to get air. Unless you go through a power door into a flooded base. Thanks for the outside world. It's not a flooded base, so it doesn't count. I've got a rupture in my base. If I didn't, I couldn't deconstruct these. Because uh, otherwise it would be stop flooding at some point, And that would be very bad for me. Late game items in here. All of this. Early game items in here. All of this. Uh, so, eight. Uh, 10 minus 2 is 8. I need 1 quartz. Count starts as 1. I'm going to have to do a lot of counting. Thank you, Temper, for the luck. So I'm not going to look at chat for a bit. I'm going to activate a glitch. I'll just open the locker in the life pod. The little animation then opens your PDA. If you leave when the animation is playing, the game gets confused. Doesn't open your PDA. No, next time you do open your PDA, no matter where you are, you can access that locker. 1. And there's the quartz. Nope, that's not something. That is, though. Oh, two, three. 
Every second with this, guys are going to take a tick of damage. If I run the main blast, can take a lot more, so I'm going to try and avoid that. Four. Five. And now I'm going to count to 24, starting from one, two, and that's sandstone. Three. Six. Four. Seven. Five. Eight, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another little bonus super seed blood. You can rub yourself against stingers as much as you want, they're not going to hurt you. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Also, crash you to know you're around. Fourteen, fifteen. So they're going to stay in the little house. Sixteen, seventeen. Dump this in here. Close open again. Dump the lead, because I don't want it. That's lead. 17. Other creatures of the sea. Do still them around, so they're just as annoying as ever. 18. That's Mesmus and the like. 19. 20. Sure, a lead. And up. So 20 and 8 is the current count. Mobile Vehicle Bay, nice. There are two Mobile Vehicle Bays towards my base. If I want them. 20 and 9. Doggo Rude. Twenty-one, nine. Twenty-two, twenty-three. Twenty-four, and now I need a gold. Not a gold. Gold? Yes. Up for air. Grab a bit. And down. Ten. Eleven. Mobile vehicle bay. Oop, Twelve. Th no. I thought there was some over here. Is there not some over here? Wasn't there a mobile vehicle bay over here? Yeah, there it is. Welcome back, Anatoly. Grab some air. Grab this. That's fine. Make an ingot while the ingot's making. Gonna deconstruct two and a half pieces of my base. One and two. Maybe I'll do. Maybe I'll do the two ingot two thing. Early weekend or day off? Day off. One, two. This. How many cents are you breaking this part again? 24 plus gold. Just check my maths video. Go and check my maths video. I want to keep one of those in there. Grab all these but one. Grab these two. Uh, one, two, three, this. Up I go. It's on my YouTube. I can't make anything. Okay, sure. There we go. Now I can make stuff. It looks like I can make everything I know. That's just a graphical glitch. If you leave something in a fabricator, it looks like this. It's just odd. Want to make another ingot so I can save a lot of space. Cool, not quite enough space though. There we go. And then something as I leave. Uh, this, I actually want this med kit. Ooh, a little bit eager. I will make another thing then. And down. Uh. 
take the medkit. Okay. So all of this in there, and this, and this, and these two. I've made too many of those, that's fine. This, dump this, grab these. Swap batteries, make this. That's fine. Make this, I don't have the lubricant. Good stuff, this. This. Leave. Up. Deconstruct, don't look at the other solar panel. There we go. Dump this in there. Activate ghost storage. Activate super sea glide leave. Okay. So we're going to head over to the Matten Island now, grab some resources of Kanga Nimba Base, grab some fragments of Kanga Nimba Base, and do the storyline of Subnautica. Yes, you heard me right, there's a storyline of Subnautica, we're going to do that now. First, I'm going to grab this, then a fish, and head on over to the Matten Island. Using my underwater landmarks to find my way, but if you're new to this, look at the aurora, look left, find yourself a cloud, head towards that. Where was the cough? The cough just happens randomly, I don't know what, it make, what makes it do happen. Words, words, hard, hard. And now I need some shale. And if I start picking up shale, I'll start counting lithium gold in that order. And some fragments. There's a shale. Zero, zero. What is the cough? It's when the main character coughs. That's it. It's not very exciting. Grab a lot of air and down. No, no, no. Grab this. So I overlay some animations there, so I can take this out a little bit earlier. Says so about two seconds. So I'm one zero, two zero, three zero, four zero, five zero, six zero, six one. Seven one eight one eight two nine two ten two. Okay, I have to go. Ten two is pretty decent. Can a reaper appear here? No. Hey, it's Sutton. Welcome, welcome. The dead pan warms my heart. Hmm. Do some fancy inventory management, dump all this in here, and this and this, and grab this, close open again. Dump, 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 leave. 10 2. Why are diamonds bad? Because I've got no use for them. 10 3, 11 3, 12 3. Hey, I'm serious. Welcome, welcome. And now I need three engines, three moon pools. There's a moon pool. Uh, I only need two engines, actually. There's a second moon pool. Where are my engines at, though? There's two engines, nice. 30 seconds. What stories are you keeping in? If you've been paying attention, you will remember that I activated ghost storage there. 13, 14. Right? I think 13, 14. Maybe I'm one lithium off. Oxygen. Clove says go faster. I'll try, Clove. I'll try. Grab a lot of air here. Go sort of towards my base. And down. Don't forget to get three engines. I got three engines. It's fine. I think I've got perfect lithium. Yes, I think I've got perfect lithium. Grab this. Grab this. Over. Push. Down. Deploy. Climb out of bounds. So we went over Mabel there. She's a big spooky reaper. But it's fine. She can't really get us there. And down we go. Going to the Lost River now. Yeah, I missed the I missed the first couple split stuff. But that's fine. First splits don't really matter. I mean, they, I guess they, they are the most important. But uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. In the Lost River, I need this. Oof. 
I need sulfur in here. If there are any, there are not. I need to take one more tick of damage. Whoop. I'm going to say out of Casper. The friendliest ghost of Arthur. And if Casper says I back, Casper blesses the run. Thank you, Casper. Many bridges and many potatoes. Thank you, Clove. And now, and now I need some nickel. Nickel's a tiny little thing. And it likes to play hide and seek in 93 of it. You play this game for long enough, everything in this area starts looking like nickel. The floor, the fish, the bubbles the fish give off. The shale, the lava, it's all nickel. And of course, nickel's a tiny little potato, so it's kind of hard to spot even at the best of times. Hello, Boris. Boris, please. There's a second nickel. There's one. No, that's a shale. That was a shale. Oof. Actually mistaking the shale. There's one. There we go. Okay, we got the potatoes. Okay, so Kevin's a big loud boy and I think he's just gone in. Okay, it's good. If Kevin is in here, that's the only way I can die to Kevin. Normally Kevin just eats glitchless runners. But if Kevin is we've got his head right here, then it's bad for me. I need four crystals, four sulfur. That's two, three, zero... Four zero, four one, four two, four three. That's pretty good. Where's my spawn? Where's my spawn? It's there because I had to make a, I had to make a sandwich, right? So it's clip A. Thank you, Linda, for the luck. Grab this. Set a portable spawn point. Do a scary jump. It's fine. It's all calculated. Is every warper Boris? Yes, every warper. Because they're all clones, right? Or something. They're all. Clothes, right, I think. Maybe, sort of. They're all man-made. They're not real. No, Mr. Mr. Spider. Mr. Spider. Why you do this, Mr. Spider? <laughs> wow. Thank you for wasting some time, Mr. Spider. So rude. I need, I need you. Friend, friend, friend. Thank you, friend. Whoop. Spit away. Thankfully, the warper can get you down to the right health if you need. That wastes a fair bit of time, though. Cool. And we'll respawn back at our base again. There we go. So I need one sulfur, I believe, and we're doing clip A. I think that's right, doing clip A. I don't remember where my spawn is. I hope this is right. Yeah, no, it is. It is. It definitely is. Were you exactly 3 HP? I guess so, yeah. So I'm going to use the Mobile Vicab again, clip out at a very specific spot to get out of bounds, and I'm going to leave it there because while Mobile Vicab is exist, and we're going to use that to our advantage later. I need an underground sulfur. I need an underground sulfur. Going underground, going underground. Big Mama, no, I'm looking for sulfur, Big Mama, get out of my face. Don't go in bounds. Don't go in bounds. There we go. Why isn't the spider death a rip run? Because we're over a minute ahead right now, Leonard. And that doesn't waste a minute. Center disdain and amusement with your death. Thanks, Clove. I need this. No, I need this. I need this. Gonna head on over. Big Mama's currently very confused. She's waiting for someone to come in the correct way. No one's ever gonna do that, so she's just gonna power pose till the end of time. And with Super Seed, I can slightly clip through everything, so I can click through the sand, activate the pedestal, and leave. Spider wasted like we'll see. We'll see how long Spider wasted. My young need to We're gonna find to out in very, very soon. Thank you, Marcus, so for the luck. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. Grab all of these. They could not hear me. Thank you, Nuna. If you help for us, the luck. I will give you freely what the others tried in vain. Hey, Candon. 
So it's like it's like 40 seconds from now. So yeah, it did lose like 40 seconds. Hey, are you? Welcome, welcome. Hey, Frosty. Welcome, welcome. So it's still technically PB-able, but uh, it's a little bit harder. But our lithium is like perfect right now, so. As long as I do like the crafting and we get lucky with bridge and stuff, then we'll be fine. This is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. Hey, hi, Jinx. Thanks for luck. Spider plus. Spider plus. It's really hard to judge how long a second is, like when you're running. Really hard to judge. What does live segment mean? That means the segment I'm currently doing. Live means it's currently happening. So, some stuff about dying. When you die and the game can't find the last base you're in, the game's going to respawn you back at the life pod. The life pod's currently over a thousand meters away, so that's quite a good teleport. Also, the walls in this area are just sort of advice, so you can jump straight through them. Unless you're on current patch, current patch you have to walk in normally and die. Though we think if you do it properly, you don't waste any time. Also, when you die, you get to keep all the items that you had when you are last in the base, as well as one additional random item. And any storyline items. Storyline items that we care about are tablets and cubes. Thank you for luck, Gogo. Thank you very much. This split sort of matters, but doesn't really. We might have wasted two seconds, maybe. Hey, Elkja. Thank you for the good luck. Thank you very much. Go up and down. Grab the tablet. Grab the cube. Put this on. Remove this, because I don't want it. Mouths over this. I've got all the lithium. I'm pretty sure. Thank you, Nacho, for that. Got all the lithium. Got all the gold. Just need bridge and hull. Apart from that, what is else is the reason you run on the old patch? Uh, it's new patch is really laggy. Every time you die on new patch, you get a death uh, loading screen as well. And one other thing I'll talk about later. Dump all this in here. And all this. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, I've got all those. All of these, please. And I have a metal savage there, actually. No, I'll, just, I'll do it later. It's fine. Heading over to the Sparse Reef now. Grab myself some more resources and fragments. I can't get name a base. Using some underwater landmarks to find my way. But if you're new to this, check out the speedrun Discord. There's a good tutorial by text. Or just learn the map. Lol. Head past this. Cough. <laughs> Does that count? I need a salt. Can I do a little quick... There you go. Grab a lot of air and go past this guy, the Garden of the Cave. And then straight down. Okay, so I need two rubies, two gel sacks, nothing else. So that should be pretty easy to do. Ruby. Gel sack. Ruby. Gel sack. Done. I'm out. That was a smooth switch. I'm very practiced on the battery switch. Very practiced. And down I go. Hey, iceberg. Don't use glitches. Nah, I'm good. I love glitches. I'm a big fan of glitches. If you want to watch a glitchless run, Clove is actually doing a glitchless bingo right this very second! Exclamation mark Clove. Uh, please feel free to go watch Clove, she's fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to do some magic tricks over here. You see this wreck? It's a nice wreck. And... pop! The wreck is gone. I need three bridge, three hull. Want to make an extra battery? Uh, the switching takes about as long as making an extra battery would. 
I think it's like like a point something seconds faster to switch. No, nope. there's stuff here to scan. There is, so we'll do a fish skip so I can scan while the animation's going on. Saves about two seconds, which is legitimately re relevant right now. I uh, I need bridge. I've got hull. I need one more bridge. There's one more bridge. One, two, three. Make myself a base. Hello, Boris. You can't hurt me no more. Save my inventory. Leave. Deconstruct that. And die. I need to do this next crafting section, like, perfectly. Let's go, I guess. Where's the glass? Where's this? Um, this, this. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go over here. So I do this. And then this. Gonna do something really weird and essentially overlay two bases. Uh, don't worry too much about it, but I'm doing some really weird actions to make like a floating window. Then I finish the floating window. It's a really weird floating window. That's done. I'm gonna make myself this moon pool here. We're gonna deconstruct it a lot. I'm gonna deconstruct it like six times. So deconstruct this one. Nope. Nope. Where are you? Deconstruct this one. Deconstruct make it. Deconstruct this one. Deconstruct make it. Deconstruct this one. So that's three. And now I deconstruct the actual moon pool. How did anyone come up with this? I've no idea. Crazy people. Crazy people. She's not a nerd like you. That's fair. Clothes really cool. I recommend going check her out. Grab this. Thank you for luck, Jockham. I'm a bit of a nerd. It's true. This, four of these, these three. I want to make a enamel glass before I forget. Let's do that. That. This. I need these two and I need this. And then what I'm going to do, activate Super Sea Glide, make this leave. And head over to the Aurora. So I'm going to go over to the Aurora. And we're going to grab what is essentially the final blueprint of the game. I say the final blueprint of the game because the blueprint lets you actually finish the game. To do so, we're going to go through a maintenance hatch. Which is definitely intended. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this nice and, nice and quick. Nice and quick, but also nice and carefully. Because I can ruin this run if I go out, go in the wrong place here. I'm just being careful. There we go. We're good. Okay, we're through. It's harder to see exactly where I want to be at night. Because you can basically not see anything here. So I'm following the things on the top. You can see like there's different bits of water. There we go. I'm in the right place. Line myself up. And just jump straight through the floor. So you can't jump straight through the floor on current patch, but you can use the maintenance hatch. The maintenance hatch disappears when the aurora explodes, however, so if you can't find it, that's why. Jumping into here, there is an alternative on current patch. I'd check out the speedrun discords to find out what it is. And smash the keyboard so I die. Okay. I need this. We're going to go upstairs and do some crafting because I picked up everything I want to use to craft. No, I haven't. I haven't. Uh, I have got this, though. I need to deconstruct both of these. Thank you, Spud, for that. I need the gold. And the other gold. Now I can. And thank you, Moon, for the luck. Then this. And then this. That's everything. Down. Okay. So I need to dump most of these, grab this, grab this, that'll do. D 
deconstruct, reconstruct. And head on over. I've heard tale of a wild mobile vehicle bay. I'm gonna sneak up on it and capture it. What a what a what a mighty wizard I am. I'm gonna go up. And here. Deploy. Climb. And make the rocket. Okay. So, of course, there is no Wild Mobile Vehicle Bay. As everyone knows, Wild Mobile Vehicle Bays were hunted to extinction about two to three years ago. That is, in fact, the same Mobile Vehicle Bay that I left in the Lava Zone. The Southern Game Code Subnautica, like a lot of other open world games, only renders stuff that's close to you and not stuff that's far away. There are a couple uh, exceptions to this. A uh, couple exceptions to this. And Mobile Vehicle Bays and Water are two of those. So when you leave the area, the mobile vehicle bay exists, the water exists, but the land around it doesn't. Glorious dolphin dive. So it can float all the way up to the surface. Make this. Back I go. So I'm juggling crafting the rocket here. So I don't waste any time because I need to make the rocket and the and the cyclops at the same time. Is this good enough? Hmm. Uncertain. It might be. It might be just good enough. So I'm going to use text clip here to climb in from the outside. Grab the power cell, make the shield generator. You can grab that from anywhere within here, so I just run away. And in we go. It seems good enough. I think it might be. Maybe. Ooh, it might be like really close. Like one second. I think I need to do like perfect movement, which is not a great... It's not great. Hey, a blow. No, I don't ever get tired of repeating myself. I, I might need to concentrate for this bit. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, this is going to be insanely close. This is insanely close. Okay, yeah, I need to do like perfect, perfect movement and stuff here. I'm going around the right way because it's it's better practice if the cyclops in the wrong place you can die. It's it's 18 seconds. No, we've lost it. We've lost it. Close but dead. It's going to be like 4 seconds behind. Primary computer systems active. I like that last section though. I'm pleased with the last section. Life Very pleased. Systems online. All systems yeah, 4.9 seconds behind. That's a really good last section. Really good. Nothing to be ashamed of. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Launch. Yeah, if we hadn't, if if Nine, Spider hadn't eight, killed us, seven, we would have got a PB. That spider wasted 40 seconds, guys. 40 seconds. Man. That's that's really close, though. That's good. It's a good time. Okay. I mean, we're just running it back. We're just running it back. I might at some point like go and just quickly get some food, but um, we're going to keep running it back.